Okay, we are back after smaller difficulties. Okay. Okay, first talk to her about the reward. Uh... It was very noble of you to pay for me. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, may Enos rest his soul, brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last there's somebody in town whose virtue... Yeah, yeah, never mind. Well, I would like to have a little bit more uh, of a reward. Thank you. Okay, I don't want to loot the bed. I would like to... Oh, I also looted the broom. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at them beautiful textures. <laughs> oh, wow. That's seriously fucked up. I should better have Oblivion ready. Come on, get up. Oh, man, my head. Yoink. There we go. Is she now angry at me or just checking whether it worked or not? What else do you want? You've got my gold. Go away. Okay. I think it worked. Hopefully. I'll see it uh, when I came, come to Lord Andre whether he's going to charge me some gold or not. Um. Okay, he just. Oh, wait. wait a minute. Your niece had 100 gold pieces. What? The brazen little serpent. That was my gold. She took it from my chest. Give it back to me. I have to pay off Lamar first. Mateo can get his money later. I really hope I get some experience for that. Here's your gold. Thanks. Now I have at least part of the money I owe Lamar. I can't believe she had the audacity to take my gold. From what I know of this little viper, I'm sure she'll run straight to the city guard and accuse you too. I shall see to it that the matter is settled. I do. I have no idea. I have no idea about this question or what the uh, consequences are. Are you angry at me? No, he isn't. I'm not that sure anymore if he if, if he actually take the call from her if she could, is going to accuse it to the city guard. But oh well. Uh, next up, we come to the deadly arrow with sleeping Bosper. Hi there. <sighs> Damn it! What's up? Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Carinus? I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Sounds good to me. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Ah, beautiful. That sounds like a joy. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, 
am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Well, he's also a trader. Show me your wares. And he sells, of course, since he's a bow maker, bows. Uh, different kind of bows, of course. Also some bolts, uh, ring of dexterity, leather belt. But nothing we need to use. I could actually sell my stuff, I better probably wait for it. No idea why, but I just keep my stuff because um, I like collecting stuff. That's also an impressive uh, amount of crap in this uh, little house. That Shadow Beast head, troll. There's also a troll head over there. There is, what's that? Oh, that's a snapper! <laughs> a fully stuffed snapper, what the hell? Never noticed that thing. More wolf heads. He sure likes to show off. But I don't. I don't. Really, I don't know how he can sleep with a snapper above his bed, or rather her her wife. Just imagine if the thing falls down on her at night. Yeah, then she'll sleep forever, I suppose. Okay, only one left, which is Constantino, and. He is here underneath the underpass. He's the last guy who who we could start an apprentice with uh, at. Uh, he's sleeping, of course. Get up, old man. What's up? What's up? What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. Wow, he seems to be a kind guy. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. He is a really caring character. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Not really. Get lost then, or you may well suffer an injury. <laughs> I love this dialogue tree. Yeah, he also has um Show me your wares. Also has a couple of things you can uh, buy from him. There are Yeah, there are some potion uh, some potion recipes, a ra random book, a goblin's bone, wings, and lap flask lap water bottles. He later gets actually actually useful stuff. But up to this point, yeah. Is that a book that I can actually read? No, or yes it is, but I already read that. As for the healing potions. Anyways, he gave us a variety a list with a couple of plants we need to collect. This quest is, was probably one of the hardest one in the, in the basic game of, uh, of Gothic 2. Because uh, these herbs are... Some of the herbs, like the King Snarl, Meadow Knotweed, Dragonweed... Dragon root, goblin berry are all hard, to, pretty hard to find. But ma maybe remember from the very first episode, which is almost like a, half a year ago, we picked up a variety of plants in Sardis', Sardis tower, including some of the really rare, rare ones to find. So they made this quest uh, a lot easier in this, uh, in the add-on. Anyways, I guess we're pretty much over the, over half an hour again. Next time, we're actually going to talk to Sard, uh, not Sardis, to Vatras, because we still have a letter from him, for him from Camelorn.
But this has to wait for the next episode. So I'll quickly save. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven or G2. No! Okay, this is not going to work. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. Just be cautious enough. Au revoir!